Bonjour. Oh, this is cool. Is that the kitchen? That's my safe zone. I love being in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Ben and this is Jamie and we're from Sorted Food, an online cooking channel. And today we're here for the mix and match challenge and we cannot wait. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Always hungry. Right, challenge one, a dish with two English ingredients. This should be easy, right? I mean, this is our stomping ground. What could possibly go wrong? Set ourselves up for a fail. Ooh. Okay, so it's like literally halved onions, the middle hollowed out and filled with something or other. So straight off, is it French onion, like French onion soup? There's only gonna be one way to find out. Arm yourself with cutlery. That is delicious. Mm. So good. But the question is, which are the hidden English ingredients? I'm, I'm going with British beef. I'm going to go for the cheese and I'm going to say... Oh, no, maybe not. Onions. Onions and beef. Candied Roscoff onions stuffed a la Provencal with orange marmalade and cheddar. You were right I with the cheese! I told you the cheddar. The... I should have stuck with it. The onions are French. I mean, that does make more sense. Yeah, like... Orange marmalade? That's like a nod to Paddington Bear. It's very British. <laughs> See, I was marmalade. getting all that sweetness from the roasted onion. Because it candied Roscoff onions, so yeah. they are literally a sweet onion that's then been roasted. That's where the sweetness is coming from. Wow. Very clever cooking. I wish I'd stuck with my guts and gone for the cheddar, because there was that sharp cheese. I said it, I just didn't commit. Ooh. Ooh. Get your nose in it. He always puts his nose so far in it. Are giving that... you anything? Yeah, but not what I was expecting. Interesting. Is that fishy? Yep. Smoked fishy, maybe. Sort yeah. Of haddocky? What? Fishy? And then I've just seen a plum. <laughs> That's delicious, but so confusing. Commit. English plums. Yep. French fish. Perfect. Roquefort, mesclun greens, French plum, and black sesame haddock mousse. Wow. Yeah. You have an allotment. How do you not know where your plums come from? Well, my plums <laughs> come from my allotment. <laughs> Merci. Ooh. OK, well, straight off, we need to work out if this is sweet or savoury and what the hidden surprise ingredient in there that we wouldn't normally expect. What are you sniffing? Definitely apple. Sweetness of caramel. What, what spice are you getting? That's not supposed to be in there. Perfectly cooked apples. This is the confusing bit. And what is that base? That is so familiar. Ah, It's right there, we can see it. But what is it? The savoury umami-ness that you get from Vegemite yeast extract. It's so familiar. Bouillon. No. Nope, right, cool. <laughs> oh. What's the sheer sauce? Literally could not be a more umami, spiced, tangy thing. Okay, so it's a French limousine apple, chipidio, milfway tatan with fleur de sel, sea salt, which is PGI, caramel, and Worcestershire sauce. Of course it's Worcestershire sauce. In our defence, we had all of the right words to describe Worcestershire sauce. But it is such an unusual ingredient to be on this plate that your mind cannot join the dots. But I'll tell you what, the apples, that's the standout of that dish. Yeah, it's amazing. Right, time for the match part of the challenge. And we have to try and figure out how we would match the wine with the dish. Yeah, enough mixing. Now for the pairing and the matching. Cheers. 
I'm picking up on some apple. I feel like this has got nice kind of floral elements to it. It's quite a fresh, crisp wine. It's got a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. Is that tannins? What do you mean by high, that? High in tannins. I'm not sure if it has. If you right. look at it, it's quite a light. It feels softer, more yeah. rounded. I mean, I'll be honest, at the moment, we're just enjoying a nice glass of wine with a few people watching. I mean, that's also <laughs> fine, but I feel like I would be confident to put that with either of these two dishes. I think the apple. Having narrowed down just one, where do we go next? I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. The smoked haddock, I think, is a bit confusing. This is a pairing that works for us, and I think that's the important thing to say. Oh, no. Either way, three wines from the same region, yeah. all from Burgundy. It's just lovely. One out of three. Look at us. <laughs> I feel like we make a great apple pie back in the UK, but that is an excellent twist on something that I will also remember for a while. Yeah, I think it's also something I could do with my kids at home. Yeah, for sure. And these recipes have intrigued us today, and don't forget, you can check them out on Taste France magazine at tastefrance.com. And keep an eye out on our YouTube channel, Sorted Food, see what else we get up to whilst we're in Paris. Cheers. Salut. <laughs> We say santé, not salut. Okay. <laughs> I like the fact that he's waited until the rap moment to tell you that though, which is excellent. Salut. Salut. Cheers. Salut. 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 Cheers. Salut. If I've got it wrong all the way through, it's just wrong. And it's, yeah, it's better that way, yeah.